All right, hi everyone, Megan here, yoga and water fitness instructor with March Wellness at OHSCU. It's been a while. So we're just gonna do a simple um, kind of warm up, wake up, morning flow, pretty gentle. So let's start out on our backs. So you can lay down however's comfortable all the way. Once you get there, find a soft gaze or eyes closed. Starting to settle into the body. We'll start with a little breathing to center ourselves here. So keeping the eyes soft or closed, start to tune into the body. Just becoming aware of any sensations here. Starting to bring our focus to our breath. Becoming aware of the inhales and exhales. Starting to deepen the breath, finding a little more intention in the rhythm. And we'll take a breath together to start. So exhale wherever you are. Take a deep breath in. And then sigh. Good. Let's start to flutter our eyes open. We'll start with some abs to warm up. So bring the knees to stack over the hips. Hands behind your head. Interlace your fingers. Open the elbows wide. We're gonna lift the shoulders up off the ground and do some bicycles. So exhale, right knee or left, right elbow towards left knee, back through center, inhale, exhale to the other side. Start to find your rhythm. Feeling those abs waking up here. Good job, stay with it. A few more. Okay, keep going. Last few. All right, back through center and release back to the ground. Take a few breaths of rest. Nice job. Let's extend our legs long, our arms long. Take a big breath in, stretch the arms legs, feet, fingers, and then exhale. Let's hug the knees into the chest. Give yourself a squeeze here. Roll around on the spine. And circle side to side. Good, and then let's start to make our way up towards the seat. You can roll to one side and press up, or maybe you rock and roll up lengthwise. Okay, good. You can stay facing the top of the mat. If that's where you are, find a comfortable seat, hands to knees. Take an inhale, shrug the shoulders up towards the ears, and then exhale back down. Nice big shoulder circles. Inhale up, exhale down. Good. A few more of these. And then switch directions, shoulder circle the other way. Okay, good, and come back through center. And then we'll do some chest circles here. So hands stay on your knees, you're going to inhale, press the heart forward, little arch in the back, like your cow, and then exhale, curl the spine back, chin towards chest like your cat. So inhale, press the heart forward. Exhale, back. 
nice big circles waking up the spine the body the torso here maybe a little bit of hug in with your belly button as you curl back okay good and then switch directions circle the other way breathing. Last one, big circle. Okay, good. Back through center. Nice job. Let's take a big inhale, stretch the arms up and over the head, interlace the fingers, press the palms up. A little bit of softness in the shoulders, big breath in here. And then release the hands, we'll go towards a side bend. Exhale, fingertips to the floor, stretch the side body long. Inhale, back up through center. Exhale to the other side. Good, move with your breath, inhaling through center. Exhale, side bend, inhale, exhale. Good, last one each side, breathe in and out, breathe in and out. Good, back up through center, going to some twists, inhale up, exhale twist, inhale up, exhale twist. Good, go in with your breath. Keeping the sits bones rooted down to the floor, finding this twist from your ribs, right? The ribs, the shoulders, the gaze. Turning up the back. Let's do our last one. Good, take a big inhale, reach those arms up above your head again, interlace your fingers, press the palms up, nice big stretch up, and then release the arms down. Good, let's find our way to tabletop position, coming over to hands and knees, onto the mat, bring the wrists below your shoulders, knees below hips, we're gonna move into our cat cows in this position. So let's inhale, Cow, drop the belly, heart forward, gaze up. Exhale, cat, curl up, maybe a bit of belly button hugging in. Go with your breath. We'll do some cat cows for a few breaths. If you have other motions that you want to do here, other movements to warm up the body, you can take a few breaths to do any other thing your body is calling for right now. One more round of breath, inhaling and exhaling. Let's come back through center. Good job. We're going to warm up our wrists now. So spread your fingers wide, comfortably wide, not strain, right? But as wide as they'll go comfortably. And we're going to circle our shoulders over our wrists. It's like you're drawing circles on the floor with the shoulder. You can feel the weight. Shifting side to side, back to front in the circle motion here and tabletop. Press down through the pads of the fingers, feel how that activates the hands. Switch directions with the circles. And then try not to lock out the elbows. So hopefully by engaging down with our hands, we're already keeping the rest of our arms engaged. So not locking out with the elbows, good. Okay, come back to center. Nice job. Take one hand or both hand, flip them over. So back of the hand is on the floor. A little counter stretch in the wrist. Switch hands if you're doing one side. Good job. All right, let's find our way to child's pose. So big toes together, hips towards heels, and then relax yourself down towards the mat. Forehead to the floor, forearms to the floor. Returning to the breath here, feel the breath breathing you. Belly expanding against or towards the thighs. On the inhales, 
and then softening on the exhales. One more breath. All right, let's start to find our way up towards tabletop again. Tuck your toes behind you, fingers wide. Press down against the mat, finding our way to downward dog. Lifting yourself on up. Good, a couple breaths here. You might move, you could pedal one foot and then the other. Bending the knee. Wrap the shoulders around towards the outside edge of the armpit, finding some engagement in the shoulder blades, in the shoulders, the shoulder girdle. Starting to warm up those hamstrings. Let's find stillness here. Wrap the shoulders, find those engaged hands. Lift high up onto the toes for a second and then soften the knees. They can be bent as much as they want as you release the heels towards the floor. Nice strong down dog, good job. Okay, let's take an inhale to lift the right leg up. And then exhale, bring the foot towards the front of the mat between the hands. Left knee down to the floor for Anjaneyasana. You might keep your fingertips on the floor or on props on either side of that foot if you have them. Shine the heart forward if you want to rise yourself up to balance on the thigh or arms all the way if you can. Press the feet down, hug the inner thighs towards midline. Find some activation here in your Anjaneyasana. One more breath. And then hands down to the floor again. Straighten your right leg for half splits. Keep the right knee bent a little bit. We don't want to lock out the joint. So a little bit bent. You might peel the toes up or keep them on the floor. Breathing into the hamstrings. Good. One more breath. And then find your way back towards your down dog. Hands forward, tuck the toes behind you, step the right foot back to meet the left. Pedal it out a couple breaths, find that sturdy, engaged, strong down dog, but not bracing, not finding too much force. We still want ease. Other side, inhale, left leg up. Exhale, step, walk that foot up between the hands, right knee down. Finding your Anjaneyasana, shining the heart forward if your fingers are on the floor props. Maybe you're rising up. If you're rising up especially, find that activation inner thighs to midline. Good job. Feeling a little bit of stretch sensation in the psoas on the right side. One more breath. And hands down. Half splits. Straighten the left leg. Breathing here into the hamstrings. Okay, good. Let's start to find our way back towards our down dog. Hands come forward, tuck the toes, step yourselves back. Okay, from here, lift high up to the toes, gaze towards the hands and then tiptoe yourselves forward to fold. Couple breaths in forward fold. Keep the knees soft. Relax the spine, the head and the neck down. Whatever arm variation feels good. Okay. On our next inhale, we're moving to halfway lift. Press down through the feet, but keep the knees soft. Hands to shins, long spine. You should feel your back activate here. Exhale, forward fold again. Two more times. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, fold. One more time. Breathe in. And breathe out. Good. This time we'll ragdoll up to stand on our inhale slowly. One vertebrae stacks above the other as you roll up to stand. Head and neck come last. 
When we get here, let's take a big sweep of the arms up. Big stretch up, inhale. And then on our exhale, back to forward fold. We'll just do a few half sun salutes. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, fold. Inhale, all the way up. Stretch up. And exhale, hands to heart center. A couple more of these. Inhale, arms up. Feel your feet rooting down. So we've got some opposite energies here. Exhale, forward fold. Keep those legs engaged. Feet rooting down, knees soft. Inhale, halfway lift. Back. Feel your back fire up. Exhale, fold. Inhale, all the way up to stand. Exhale, hands to heart center. One more. Inhale, arms rise. Exhale, fold. Keep all that engagement. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, fold. Inhale, all the way up. Exhale, hands to heart center. Good. We're going to add on. Inhale, arms rise. And exhale, fold. Inhale, halfway lift. This time, exhale, plant your hands, step your feet back, downward dog. Let's go into some plank work here to fire up our core and our shoulders. So we'll inhale to our high plank. We're gonna do this with movement. Hips stay in line with shoulders. Find that activation in the hands, strong hands, fingers pressed down, strong shoulders. And then exhale, draw the belly button in and back as you come back to downward dog. So let's flow. Inhale, high plank. Exhale, pull back. Inhale, high plank. Exhale, pull back. Good, a couple more. So this next time we come to high plank, let's stay there. So inhale to high plank. Good. And then exhale, bring your knees down or just lower yourself in one line. Hips and shoulders stay together to the floor. Untuck the toes. Inhale, heart up, cobra, baby cobra. Exhale, back down. I want you to feel the glutes engage. Inhale, cobra. Shoulders back. Exhale, back down. <laughs> Feel that activation in the back side. Inhale up. Exhale down. Good. This time on our inhale, we're going to make our way back to downward dog. Feel those abs firm up. Maybe you exhale back through plank or tabletop down dog. Good. Inhale to your tiptoes of forward. Exhale. Walk, step, float to forward fold. Take a big breath in, halfway lift, and exhale, fold. Inhale, all the way up to stand, stretch up. Leave your hands up above your head this time, interlace your fingers, except for your pointer finger. We're going to take a side bend. So root down with your right foot, lift up, side bend over to the right, and then press down through the left. Inhale, back up through center. Let's go to the other side. Press down through the left. Lengthen up. Side bend to the left. And press the right foot back down. Good. Inhale, back up. Exhale, swan dive forward. Big circle of the arms. Forward fold. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, to a plank. Good job. Stay here in plank. For a few breaths, we're going to hold. Good. Feel those shoulders broadening. Press up the heart. Tailbone is tucked. Back of the neck is long. Gaze down. And one more breath. Okay, good. Let's find our way down towards the floor. Maybe knees down. Maybe you just lower. And exhale. Inhale, one cobra. Exhale, back to the floor. Let's find child's pose. Inhale through tabletop, press up. Exhale, child's pose. Nice job. A few breaths there in child's pose, holding. OK, 
Getting into the breath, staying present. All right, nice job. From child's pose, let's find our way up towards the seat. Walk your hands towards your knees. Sweep your feet off to one side. <clears throat> We're going to find our way to either butterfly or cross-legged, whichever is comfortable. So feet together, soles of the feet together, kind of, and then the outside edges of the feet stay together as the feet fall apart, like they're opening the pages of the book if you're in butterfly. You can find, you know, heels closer to the groins, a little more intense. Maybe you walk them further away. Just find a place that's comfortable here, okay? Once we're here, either in our butterfly or cross-legged seat, we're gonna walk our hands forward just as far as is comfortable. Try to keep the spine long, so the heart lifting up and forward, okay, so we're not hunching over. As you walk the hands forward, we're just gonna take a little fold here. Breathing. Few more breaths. Okay, nice. Let's start to walk our hands back up and we'll rise ourselves back up to a seat. From here, we're going to do a quad stretch hurdlers. So you're going to bring one leg out. I'm going to do my left leg first, long, and then Bend the other leg, the right knee, maybe. Bring the top of the foot to the floor in line with the knee, right? We don't want our ankle getting all wonky. This might be enough of a quad stretch for that right foot. You can lean back, you could lift the tailbone, the hips up and tuck the tailbone for a little bit more of that lengthening sensation. Then you're kind of having to support yourself with your hands. Feels kind of good to me, up to you. Good, one more breath. If your hips are up, let's bring them down. Kind of roll over onto the left to switch sides. So bring your right leg out in front of you. Give the knees a few bounces. Maybe shake up that right ankle. Good, switch sides. I'm doing my left now, left top of the foot to the floor. I'm gonna lean back. I'm gonna lift my hips and tuck my tailbone. Be wherever is comfortable for you here. Good, another breath. All right, let's release. Bring the left leg back out. A couple bounces with the knees. Nice job. Okay, from here we'll make our way down to our backs. So, plant the feet on the floor, feet hip width apart. We're gonna bring our arms alongside our body and take a slow roll down. So tucking the tailbone as you go, find some curve, seeing if you can articulate the spine down one vertebrae at a time. Good. It's okay to feel some shaking. Nice job. Let's make our way all the way down. And we'll do some bridge work. So once you're on the floor, bring your hands down by your side, palms face down, feet stay hip width apart. Okay, we're going to press our hips up and we're just going to do some little bridges here to start. So we're going to start with our hips up and then just exhale. Bring the hips down a little bit. They're just gonna be like little pulses. So the hips don't go all the way to the floor and then press back up on the inhale. So exhale, inhale, exhale, inhale. And we want to feel our glutes activate here. So if you don't feel your glutes working, if you're feeling it in your quads or your hamstrings more, try to go smaller, right? A smaller movement. We want those glutes to activate especially on the way up. That's the work that they're doing. If you need to adjust the positioning of your feet, of course, do that. Okay. 
I'm going to stay here for a while doing these reps here, working up our glutes. Inhaling up, exhaling down. Stay with it. Or whatever breath pattern works for you. Good. Hopefully you're feeling it now. All right. We're going to go into some bigger drops. So exhale down. Tap the glutes. Inhale up. Down. Up. Good. See if you can keep that same activation. Keep going. Hopefully feeling the burn now. Let's do three more. Down. Up, down, up, last one. Ooh, nice job. Ooh, bring your hips all the way to the floor. Heel toe your feet to the edges of the mat, and we'll go into some windshield wipers. So let the knees fall to one side, back up through center and to the other side. job. Okay, come back through center. Hug both knees into your chest, give yourself a squeeze, and then bring the left leg to the floor. Keep the right knee hugging in to your chest. Okay, we're going to do some movement here. So you're going to circle the knee. You can either use your hands or maybe you don't use your hands, so your legs are just doing this on their own. And then switch directions with the circle, circle the opposite way. Good, bring the knee back through center. You can hold on to it again or hold on to the thigh. Circle the ankle. Switch directions with the ankle circles. And then give your toes a few wiggles. Good, then let's straighten the leg. Flex and point a couple times, flex and point. Good, let's switch. Right leg down, left leg in, start with your knee circles, left leg is bent. Using your hands to guide the knee or not. Switch directions with the circle. back through center. Hold the leg or the knee again. Let's do some ankle circles. And switch directions. And then we'll wiggle our toes. Then let's straighten the leg a little bit, do some flexes and points. And then let's come back through center, bring the leg down. We're going to have our hands up off the ground, hands and forearms, elbows on the floor, and then we'll do some figure eights. So moving both hands in a figure eight. Then switch directions. Figure eight the other way. 
and then we'll wiggle our fingers, might be playing the piano, maybe do some flicks, fists and flicks. Okay, good. Let's release that. We'll bring our arms up and over our head again. Bring your feet together at the front of the mat. Take a deep inhale, tense up, reach out, and then soften back down again. We'll find ourselves either in corpse pose or any other position like reclined butterfly or constructive rest. And we'll take some deep breaths here together. So you might soften your gaze or close the eyes again. Finding our breath, becoming aware of the rhythm. No need to control the breath, just letting it be natural and soft. Letting the face soften, if we're holding any tension there. Jaw relaxes, tongue rests on the bottom of the mouth. Eyes are soft. Feeling the shoulders soften as well. Releasing tension in the shoulders and the neck. Becoming aware of anywhere else in your body from your head all the way up through your fingers and your toes that you might be holding on to any tension. Breathing, breathing into the body. Taking this moment to just be with ourselves, to be centered, to be present. One more breath together. Start with an exhale to empty out. Take a big breath in. And sigh out the mouth. Have a good day, everyone.